Hey all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, this is going to be quite an interesting one. So on April 30th, I purchased the entire Scooby-Doo and Glamlight Part 2 collection and it just arrived to me in late May. Now I'll admit, I did not realize that it was basically a month's worth of processing and shipping time. If I had realized that, would I have purchased the whole collection? I don't know. I don't, maybe it's just like I'm too immediate gratification or something like that, but waiting a month, not so much. But here's the thing I found very interesting. Last year, 2022, I was on a low buy. I was on a pretty strict low buy where I only brought things into my collection if they really sparked joy, like extremely sparked joy, or if it filled a void in my collection. It was, if it was something that I didn't already have in my collection, right? Well, last year, all of last year, I wanna say that I spent 330 something dollars on makeup. For this whole collection, I spent $108, I'm rounding up the change, $108 in this whole collection. And that's a third of what I just spent in all of last year. So when I opened this collection up, I felt a weird little bit of buyer's remorse. And I think it's because I know that I fell into the trap when I saw this because the Scooby-Doo Collection Part 1, I loved, love those palettes. They are fantastic. The quality is absolutely amazing. And originally when this palette and the idea started coming out, I was like, oh, I'm definitely getting that palette even though it's a big palette, which I don't normally like. But I was like, nope, I'm gonna get the palette. And then all of a sudden I started looking and they were releasing like the lip shades. And I'm like, do I need those? No, but I mean, maybe it would go cute with the collection. Maybe if there's some kind of bundle deal and then they would release little other things here and there. And I was just looking at all of them going, do I need that? No, I don't need that. Do I need that? I, I guess I don't need that. Then the day of the release came and there was a discount overall site-wide and you could use affiliate codes. And I got some crazy amount of money off. So I was like, screw it, I'm buying the whole collection. And then I opened the box up. I haven't really opened the makeup yet. I just opened the box up. I haven't used any of it or swatched any of it. And I immediately was like, I don't want all of this. <laughs> So here's what I decided I'm gonna do. I wanna go over this whole collection. I'm gonna show you everything that's in the box, but I'm gonna make kind of a game day decision of, am I going to use the product that is in here or am I going to dupe it with something that's in my collection and just try to sell the brand new Glam Light product? Because I already know there's a few things in here I am not gonna use and I'm just gonna sell it. If you are interested in buying any of them, they will be probably on my Mercari page. Everything is always linked in the description box down below, but let's get right into this. All right, so when you open the box, we have bubble wrap. The first thing I see is something that, do I have this in my collection already that I could use? Yes, but this is something that I wanted. So this is the Scooby-Doo Lip Duo, I'm sorry, the Scooby Snacks Lip Duo. Oh, I love the packaging, it's like, it's like a Scooby Snacks slash cereal box. Like they even have the little nutritional information on the side, if you will. But this is a two piece kit. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. So like I said, it's this two piece kit. So you have the Scooby Snack Lip Scrub. I love a good lip scrub. And the Scooby Snap Snack Lip Sleeping Mask. I wanna use both of these right now. I do enjoy things like this. I will say this packaging is remarkably like cheapy. I don't know. I mean, and I know this is an inexpensive makeup company. It's an inexpensive product, but nonetheless, it feels a little cheapy, but let's see how this does. Where's my spatula? Okay. I got a little spatula. Let's start with the lip scrub. Now, the reason I was interested in this is because it supposedly smells like graham crackers. If it does not smell like graham crackers, I'm not going to use it. <laughs> This doesn't smell like graham crackers. Oh, you know what? Um, I'm sorry, I did open this and I'm gonna say that in the description of when I sell this, that I did open it to smell it, does not smell like graham crackers. That smells just bad. That smells like um, butterscotch or something really, really sweet. Damn. Now I'm wondering, should I even use that? Should I use that or should I just get, hold on a minute, let me smell it again. It does smell very sweet and I realized that I only have one other lip scrub and this thing is so old, I need to get rid of it. You know what, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it because I literally don't own a single other lip scrub and I want one. Okay, I'm gonna take a little off. It's very gritty, but I think these should be. A 
Okay, graham crackers, not so much, but I will say it did do a good job of exfoliating my lips. Now this is a little grittier than I would prefer, if I'm gonna be honest. It's a little bit grittier than I normally like, but it's not bad in that sense. So let me see, I mean, am I gonna use the, the lip treatment too? Because I kind of, you know what? I'm not gonna use this for now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be selling it because I don't know who would want just the lip treatment. Instead, I'm going to use again, and please don't be upset with me because I know that this is hard to find now, but the Alice in Wonderland uh, just lip mask. I'm just gonna apply this while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. I love this one, I really do. And this one is like birthday cake. So the lip scrub is nice. I don't think it's worth buying on its own. It feels nice, I will say that, but let's keep going. All right, the next thing that we've got in here is like the big ticket item. So this is the makeup bag. And to be honest, like, oh gosh, I'm so torn on what to do about this because it's really big, but it's really cute. And I know this was like the ticket item that everyone wanted. Okay, this is really cute. <laughs> I will say the makeup bag that I currently take on vacation like the, is, is just horrible. It's really old. It's really old. For now, I think I'm gonna keep this. I think. I'm really torn though. We shall see. So for now, I'm just gonna put this wrapped up very gently. I'm putting it back in its packaging. Now I'm just, again, I'm torn about these things because do I need another makeup bag? I don't. This is one where I definitely just fell into like the frenzy of it, the excitement of it, and I don't know that I need this. So this is another, I'm not sure. <laughs> Here's one thing I will definitely not use. So immediately these brushes, it, it, there's a four piece brush kit and it's all eye brushes. I, I don't need these kinds of brushes. I'll, I'm not gonna lie, like I haven't touched them because I don't wanna touch what is going to eventually be someone else's brushes. These don't look like great quality to me. They look like like teen girl squad quality. You know what I mean? The ugly one! I don't know, what do you guys think? Like I, I'm trying not to be negative Nancy. I always want to be like positive Polly on my channel and things like that, but I also always wanna be very honest with you all about how I feel about products. And again, when I opened this collection, I was so just, underwhelmed. Let's go through the whole collection and then I'm actually going to apply some makeup on my face. So the other thing, I think I can open this without breaking any kind of seal. Yes, so this is very cute, but this is a Scooby-Doo mirror and it's a good quality mirror. It's nice and big. It does have a protective cover on it right now. Really cute, very lightweight. I won't use this. I will not use this. I have so many handheld mirrors that I really love. I even brought out like the Melt Beetlejuice one. Freaking love this. This is the mirror I use every day. This is by Koki and it's like got a magnetic base and it is my favorite mirror in the world. Like you can tilt it back. Whoops, you can tilt it back. You can lean it forward um, and it does light up. It's just a fantastic mirror. So if I need something handheld, I already have it and I feel like there's somebody who would appreciate this one so much more than I would. So this is definitely one that I'm not keeping. Are you keeping track yet? So far, all I've used is the damn lip scrub and it was nice. It was nice and that I'm keeping now that I've used it. Let's move on. This is one I'm really torn on. So this is the Scooby-Doo Blush Duo Palette. As you can see, we do have Daphne and Velma on the front taking it out of the package very, very gently. It's really cool, because on the front, you do have that kind of holographic feel, and it's got that <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing. We do, again, have a blush duo. I am gonna keep this covered. Um, there's like a protective covering. There are two matte blush shades. One is a very bright pinky peach coral, and the other one is a very bright bubblegum pink. If I know myself, I'm not going to use this enough to make it worth keeping, okay? I have very few matte powder blushes because I don't use them often. I like a cream blush. I like a sparkly blush. I like a blush topper. I like things that aren't this. And again, it's beautiful. And for someone else, this would be fantastic but this is one I'm not going to be keeping. Now, something that I am gonna try to use in its place, if the makeup look turns out like it could work for it, the Melt Monarcha Blush Palette. Do you all see this bright bubblegum pink? I don't know how bright it's showing up on camera. I've never once used this because it's a matte bright pink. 
maybe today's the day. Maybe we'll see how it looks with the look just so you can see a different option. And I'm aware this might not be available anymore, but it, the whole point is finding stuff that you have in your collection that you can dupe these things with. You know what I mean? That you can, you don't have to buy all the new collections. You don't have to do what I did and open it and go, oh, I have things like that and I don't really use them. So this is very, very carefully going back in its packaging. And um, I'm even putting it in the bubble wrap because guess what? I'm not keeping even the blush. I'm not even trying it today. How many of you have just signed off altogether? Okay, well, we have some lip duos. Now these, these are interesting to me. So the first one is the Velma Lip Kit. And this is a definite keep for me. So this is like an orange, sparkly, beautiful lip gloss. And this lipstick is supposed to be a sort of like 90s orangey brown red. Packaging not made for people with nails. Now the packaging is plastic. It does feel very cheap, but yeah, y'all, that is my color right there. Oh my God, it's so sexy. It is, oh, and I kind of like when the packaging is off, all you see is Velma's little skirt and knees and mm, sassy girl. So this one is definitely one that I want to keep, that I want to try. I'm excited about that. The Daphne one is the one where I'm a little like side eyeing it. Not Daphne, yes, Daphne, excuse me. So this is a hot pink gloss with a lot, a lot, a lot of gold sparkle in it. Now the lipstick is what I'm curious about. I don't want to ruin this packaging, so I'm going to take my time. Oh, wait, there it comes. That was easy. So I've heard that this is a very light pink lipstick, which I don't have a whole lot of that in my collection, to be fair, but let's see what it looks like. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope. That is way too light. That is way, way, way light, I think. I think, right? Like it's like the same color as my lips, kind of. Mm. But the thing is, again, I don't have any colors like this in my collection. So to be honest, I think I'm going to be keeping both lip kits. I'm not gonna use both today. I think I just wanna use the Velma, but those I'm keeping. And then the very last thing, we've got the palette. So let's decide on this together. So this is the Scooby-Doo Part 2 palette. And I don't usually like palettes this big. So this is a 25 pan color palette. And they say that this is for face and eyes, or I'm sorry, body and face. The reason they say that is because several of the pigments are not intended for use around the immediate eye area. What that means is that it might stain your skin or that there are ingredients in those colors that have not necessarily been approved in the United States for use around the immediate eye area. They usually have been approved in the EU and overseas, but here they have not, so they have to legally say that. But personally, I put color wherever I freaking want to, and if it stains, it stains, but that is at your discretion. So again, we do have this really great holographic image again, which I think is so cool. I, I do love that. And let's look at this palette. I'm, I wanna keep the color or the um, protector on here just in case. Guys, I don't know what I'm feeling. I don't know what I'm feeling. Do I have all these colors? I do. I do. I have the colors. We're, I, I mean, it, it's, y'all, I just made a decision that I'm selling the entire collection. I was not expecting that today. I'm selling the entire collection. Um, am I? Do I want this Velma kit? I feel like I want this Velma lip kit, but do I have colors that look exactly like that? You know what? Let's find out. You know what I feel, like, I feel like I want? I want to keep the Velma lipstick. I don't really care about that gloss. Is that weird to be like, hey, here's the entire collection, except there's no Velma lipstick in it. I don't care. Guess what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to sell this at a loss anyway. So um, guys, I'm, I'm selling the whole collection, the entire collection. But here's what I'm going to do. I want to make a makeup look using this vibe. And the way that I want to do that, I want to gain inspiration from kind of these colors and see if I can replicate a look that would have come out of this palette. So I'm going to keep this open next to me. And again, I'm going to be very careful to keep the protective sleeve on there. The one that has the numbers is the protective sleeve because I don't want to contaminate this if I'm going to be selling it, which I am. So yeah, you know what? This is a weird video, but we're going to dupe the vibes today. I didn't think today was going to be a duping the vibes video. And here we are. And I'm even still torn on the lipstick. I might wind up selling that. And I think I'm going to even wind up selling the lip scrub and just say scooped out once with a clean spatula because this was. We're going to see. Okay, and here we go. I have decided. So the color I'm going to start with is similar to this color 12, which is just this matte 
kind of light to medium purple. And for that, what I'm going to use is actually from the first Glam Light Scooby-Doo collection. This is from the Creeps and Crawls palette. And I'm going to be using this same shade. So this one is a bit more red pink, but it's still very similar. And for that, I'm going to be using my Singe E05 brush. And I'm going to take a bit of this and I am going to try to do a sort of transition crease and see how that works. Oh gosh, this makes me nervous. Now with my hand mirror and my eyes open, I'm going to be tracing slightly above the natural crease. Did get on my eyelid and I'm fine with that, that's fine. See this palette, I love. I love, love, loved this palette. So the next shade I wanna go in with, and let me also reiterate that I am going to be using several different palettes to get the look that this one palette could get you. So if you have none of these colors, if you have no other palettes in your collection, this could be great for you. But if you are somebody who enjoys makeup, who has a lot of stuff in your collection, I urge you to consider looking through your collection, seeing what you could do, seeing what you could replicate. So the next shade that I wanted to go in with is number 15. So it is just a bright royal purple, a very pretty bright matte royal purple. And for that, I am going into my It's Likely Makeup Ugly palette, which I don't bring out nearly enough. And the shade I'm going for is Abstract, basically the same exact color. So I'm gonna take that same brush and dip it in very gently, tapping off the excess. And now I'm going to go in and just kind of continue that crease overlapping this purple. And I'm gonna have a different color all the way at the end, but this is going to, again, I don't care that I'm getting it on my lid. We're just focusing on the crease right now and we're just deepening it up. I forgot how intense this palette is. So such a little bit goes a long way. So the next shade, I want to take it out into kind of a V and connect it in the outer corner. So I'm gonna be filling in all of that. And this is the deepest shade in the Scooby-Doo palette. It is number 25 and it is a very deep, almost navy dark blue. For that, I am going into my Shroud Moonfall palette and going into Rebirth. This is a color though that I feel like a lot of you probably have in your collection if you have a collection. It is just a dark, navy blue. For this, I'm gonna be taking a much smaller angled brush. This is my BK Beauty 208, and I'm going to be dipping into that, again, with my mirror because I wanna keep looking straight ahead. And I will be blending this out so I know it's gonna look harsh at first. And I'm taking this out pretty far, like actually kind of past my eyebrow. Oops, went a little crazy with that one. Now I will say this color, while I, I'm okay with it, it's a little darker than I wanted because this one is not as blue as the one in the Scooby-Doo palette. And I would like something more blue. Guys, this is basically an exact match. Again, this is the Scooby-Doo Creeps and Crawls palette. This shade right here is basically an exact match. That's so nuts. Yep, this definitely is way more blue. So I'm just kind of taking that line and fading it in so I can kind of keep that crispness just along the line and then I'll add more. Whew, someone's pushing themselves out of their comfort zone. We are really trusting the process here. Okay, so I'm just deepening up that blue. As with any look, I'm gonna be going back and forth between colors just to make sure that the blend is what I want it to be, especially right here from that dark blue into this like really pretty vibrant purple. This look is definitely taking a turn I didn't think it was going to. All right, so that's a thing that's happening. Now, full disclosure, the shade that I'm really interested in putting on part of the lid is number two here, which is just this matte teal blue green. And I don't have a shade that matches that exactly, but this one from my Sugar Pill Pro palette is nice and close, as is from the Nomad uh, Paradiso palette, the, um, the shade, excuse me, Dolphin. So I think Dolphin is like a little bit lighter 
that might actually just go on the inner corner. Maybe I want to put a shimmer on the lid and then just put that on the inner corner. Okay, which shimmer would I want? All right, so this is interesting. I'll admit I just had a tough time finding a shimmer for to match this. So number one is a teal blue kind of chunky shimmer. But one that I found that is similar-ish enough is actually in the Michaela and Glam Light palette and it's Cloud Nine. This is a deeper color though. It is quite a bit deeper. Oh wait a minute, does this one match even better? No, no. Um, but we're gonna try that and I'm gonna just try it wet. Now I'll be honest you guys, while I really enjoy a color story in general, if I have one shade in a palette that I don't have anywhere, I have been known to buy a palette for it and then just make use of the rest of them. So I'm not saying like, if you love that shade and don't have anything else in your collection like it, don't buy it. Do what makes you happy and that you can afford to do. But for me, I know what I want out of it. So I'm gonna try this color and see how I'm feeling about it. This is a beautiful color. It's not the teal that I was originally hoping for, but still very beautiful. And again, while I'm not cutting the crease, I'm kind of just following the line we've already created. Let's just do that on the inner half of the lid. Oh, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, I like that. This might ruin the look, we'll see. But I want something sort of like 16 here, which is this orangey, rose gold shimmer and I immediately thought of this shade which is Leaping Lechwas. I hope I'm pronouncing that right from the new Nomad palette. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip around that brush I was just using for the blue and I'm going to try to use this dry and just pat this right in this area. Okay dry isn't going to work. Okay this is just going right in this little area here. We're going to be blending that dark blue back in not gonna lie, not sure how I feel about those together, but you know what? Well, this video is just literally turning into pure chaos. It stopped filming, but all I did was put that leaping lechwas here. I don't know how I feel about it, but you know what? Makeup's about experimentation. The last thing that I wanna do, remember that matte teal that I thought I wanted to put all over my eyes? Well, instead what I wanna do is that shade dolphin from the Nomad palette. First, I wanna take that and put this right on my inner corner for just like a pop of matte blue, which I think is kind of fun. And that actually helps that this is a lighter shade of blue. This is the only part I'm not sure about. You know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Cause if we're just gonna ruin it, let's just ruin it all together. Okay, number 19, that's a bright ass orange, a bright ass matte orange. I'm going back into the uh, It's Likely Makeup Ugly palette and going into a bright ass orange. This one's called Construction. Let's put that under the eyes, why not? <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and line with some liquid liner. You know what, this light orangey color is definitely throwing me off. I want a purple sparkle. So you see 14 here, which is just a, a purple sparkle with some gold in it. Over that, I'm going into my Shroud Moonfall palette and I'm picking up Devotion, which is again, just a sparkle. I'm gonna pat that on top of this to give this more of a purple tinge of sparkly rather than gold. Yeah, see this is, that's gonna do it for me. Because this purple even still has that gold in it. So it's like, it doesn't matter that you're layering it over top. Yeah, I, yep, you know what, there, there it is. Well, that's, I mean, it's stupid, but it's kind of fun. I'm just lining with some black pencil liner just to make the lashes look a little more full on the upper waterline. I'm gonna be using fake lashes today. Look at that, because the thing is, I'm just having fun playing, even though I'm not using a damn piece of the new collection. All right, while that lash glue is drying, we're gonna try something. So remember that bright pink shade in the Velma Daphne blush duo that I was like, mm. oh my God, this makes me so nervous. I, guys, this is fluorescent. Okay, I am gonna start so small and build up. This is way more pink than I ever normally wear. Oh, 
I don't like this shade of blush on me ever. I really, really don't, but it, it's gonna work for now. It's gonna work. For lips, I was gonna use the Velma, but you know what? I think I'm gonna go for a more Daphne lip, so I did find something. This is definitely a little bit deeper, but this is very similar to the Daphne lip kit. Oh, I'm sorry, this is Art Walk by Urban Decay. And here we have my look that is not with the Glam Light and Scooby-Doo collection. Now here's the thing, I am not saying a single bad thing about this collection and I hope that comes through. I'm not saying this is a crappy collection, I'm not saying it's a bad quality collection, I'm not saying anything bad about the collection. What I'm saying is that this sort of reignited my low buy feels in that I looked at all of this makeup that came in this box and it was packed full and normally that should excite me so much but it didn't this time. I looked at all of it and went, I don't need that much makeup. I have so much makeup and I still love trying new makeup. I love it. You are going to see more trying new makeup on my channel. But when it's this much, I just, something about it just didn't sit with me right. It didn't sit with me right. So I am listing the entire collection for sale. Again, it's gonna be on my Mercari page. Everything is gonna be linked down below. So if you're interested, feel free. I'm just gonna be trying to get back the cost that I paid for it. But guess what? I like this look. I really like this look. I think this is super fun. And I had fun just like sitting and playing with makeup. This was fun. This was a good time. Even if it was pure, unadulterated chaos, I think it was fun. So let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video, because I have a feeling that a lot of you probably expected to come in here and I'm gonna sell you this new makeup, where instead I'm just trying to sell you on using the crap you already own. <laughs> but that's it, I would really appreciate on this specific video, I would love a thumbs up, I would love comments, I would love shares, because I know that this video is going to hit certain people in the right way and certain people in the wrong way. So any support, hell, if you want to give it a thumbs down, that's engagement. I like engagement. But that's it. You all can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. And I love you so much with my whole heart, with my whole chaotic heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.